There's a, a wonderful and extremely romantic idea cited by Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple Computer. And it's a romanticized view of technology and the idea of human beings being a tool-making animal, right? We use our technologies as scaffoldings that allow us to overcome our boundaries and transcend our limitations. And the idea that Steve Jobs cited had to do with a study that was done on the efficiency of locomotion of all animal species. That is, how many calories, how much energy did they expend to get from point A to point B? And the animal at the top of the list that scored the highest was the condor, right? The condor was top of the list in terms of efficiency of locomotion. The least amount of energy to get the farthest distance. Human beings were like, a third of the way down the list. Like just nothing impressive whatsoever. But get this, you give a human being a bicycle and it rises to the top of the list. A human being with a bicycle immediately reaches the top of the list of efficiency of locomotion to get from point A to point B with the least amount of energy expended. So a tool, an instrument like a bicycle transforms the capacities of this animal and puts it at the top of the chain for efficiency of locomotion. And so what Jobs said was he likened the computer as a bicycle for the mind. The computer has always been a bicycle of the mind. With the Industrial Revolution, we transcended the limits of our muscles. With the Digital Revolution, we transcend the limits of our minds. Terence McKenna said the man-made world is the condensation of human imagination. Kevin Kelly says that technology is the seventh kingdom of life. He calls it the technium, right? A living organism with the same evolutionary forces as biological evolution. Our tools have become scaffoldings of mind. And my friends, the sky's the limit in our capacity to engender our dreams. Our tools are psychedelic, my friends. The word psychedelic means to manifest mind. And what is this tool, if not the embodiment and literalization of mind, right? This has become the condensation of human imagination. I phone, therefore I am. I design, therefore I become. These tools and technologies have become non-specific amplifiers of consciousness, and so it is up to the it is up to the apparatus, the cognitive apparatus, employing these tools and technologies that are extending its capacity that will determine how we use these tools in the world and whether we will make this a better world and engender a utopia beyond time and create nirvana, positively touch a billion people, address the grand challenges of humanity. The psychedelic dream of expanding our minds has been literalized. When psychedelics meet cybernetics, we call it cyberdelics. We live in a cyberdelic world. Take responsibility. And let's make our dreams come true.